Okay, usual start off of Mr. Dan. We got some onions and a decent sized pot. What are we making today? Hang in there. Okay, welcome back to another episode of uh, Cooking with Mr. Dan. Uh, today we're going to make a nice little comforting kind of dish. Uh, we're going to call it a uh, chicken pot pie soup. I know, Grandma can make it, but I can make it, and everybody can make it, but it's going to be good. It's not like Grandma used to make, but it's going to be dang close. So, hang in there, and this is a comfort food for you guys up in the north. That's a little chillier than me. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Okay, so here you can see my uh, onion. Give that a little stir around there. I want to get a little bit of color on these bad boys. Okay. So then I also have uh, some heavy cream, some uh, chicken broth, a couple little hot pepper flakes I might use, I don't know. I had some of these leftover little little round potatoes about yay big. I cooked about six or seven of them, whatever. I got four left, I think. I should have cooked them all. But anyhow, here I got two uh, uh, poached uh, chicken breast. I'm not going to use all of that. <coughs> That's why I always tell you guys, I always have poached chicken breast. Now you know why. I make too much. <laughs> now we're going to make this pretty simple. We're using cream of chicken soup. I was going to go from total scratch make the roux, make the floury thing, you know. But I said, ah, this is going to be a quick one for everybody that don't want to do that. But here I got some garlic right there. It's about five cloves, maybe six. I didn't really count. This here is some mushrooms that I cooked up yesterday for dishes like this. I put them in a separate container, and then today I took some out, chopped them up. That's, I don't know, I took them out by my hand, so that's what that is. I chopped them up smaller. Here you see some frozen peas, carrots, uh, and green beans, that's going in there. And here I have some uh, fresh uh, corn, or well, canned corn from uh, Penny's dad, Mr. Ed's garden. Uh, this is about three or four tablespoons. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so now that we're back on top of everything, I bumped up the temperature a little bit. And uh, as you can see, my uh, onions are definitely browning up a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna put a little more spray in here because I'm getting ready to add my garlic. And I don't want nothing sticking if possible. Okay, so now we're going to dump in the garlic and get that all fragrant and smelling good. Okay, like I said, this is a, a soup version of uh, Grandma's favorite uh, chicken pot pie. So this is where you ain't got to make no pie crust or nothing like that. And this is the simple version. Like I said, you could have went all out scratch. And right now I'd be doing this, making a roux, uh, making a nice cream sauce. But I figured I'd just use the cream of chicken with some uh, heavy whipping cream there. We're going to be putting a little bit of uh, chicken broth in there for added flavor. So... We're going to add in now because I can smell the uh, the garlic, so I don't want that to get messed up. We're going to throw in, like they're pretty, still pretty froze. <laughs> uh, my peas, carrots, and stuff like that. I'm going to add a little bit extra of the uh, of corn. I wanted extra. I like corn, so. Besides, this is like my recipe, right? <laughs> Getting all those num nums off the bottom of the pot. This is going to be quick. Watch, you guys will see this is going to, <laughs> once it starts it going. Okay. I'm going to pour a little bit of chicken broth in here. Not too much, just enough to. Oops. Just a little bit to help them veggies on their way. I'm going to toss in my mushrooms. By the way, those as you can see, they're already pre-cooked. I'll throw my corn in. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right, see? I'm going to mix this up. Now, instead of, uh, if you guys are really mushroom fans, you could just throw in a cream of mushroom soup versus chicken soup, cream of chicken. 
it come out the same but a little more mushroomy flavor but i like mushrooms anyway so i had some cooked <laughs> now if you don't like them don't put them in So I'm going to let this come up to a little bit of a simmer. We'll be right back. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see the little steam coming up. So what I'm going to do now is throw in my potatoes. Now, potatoes, you always have to have potatoes with a pot pie. Come on. <laughs> so the other reason is uh, that'll help uh, thicken up the juice a little bit or whatever you got in there. Now, if you don't want to use a half and half, you can use uh, water. You can use more chicken broth. Uh, I just happen to like to have the heavy cream, not half and half, but you can use half and half too, but anyway. So now we're going to put in some uh, of our cream of chicken soup. And then we'll see how that blends together. I learned the last time I did this with the can of cream, cream of chicken, I can't stick the big, uh, can't stick the big um, silicone spatula. I try to get everything out of that can. But just to stir this around a little bit. Now if you make this a little too watery when you blend it all together, uh, what you can do is you can get some uh, cornstarch slurry going or a potato starch slurry. Or what do they call it? Arrowroot, that's another one. There's so many things out there you can use to thicken your sauce but as you can see right now it looks it's already pretty much like a old granny's uh, pot pie huh so now we're gonna put in some uh, little dash of heavy cream here because I like to silk it up a little bit or thicken it up a little bit and if it's too thick like I said then we can dilute it or we can add more whatever you like <laughs> and you can spice this up any way you want. Salt and pepper, uh, various little spices like celery root, uh, little uh, paprika maybe. Look at that, I didn't even start adding the chicken yet, huh? Hmm. So now I am going to add some chicken. <laughs> and I just shredded this, you know. I could have cut it in chunks, but I opted to uh, shred it up. That's enough of that. I would say if I had a guess, that's probably one uh, shredded breast of of uh, chicken in there. Now like I said this is supposed to be a soup so we don't want it too thick. And some people like a thick soup. Um you know this is supposed to be like uh even this is a little too thick for a pot pie. <laughs> so uh what I'm gonna do here is uh add a little more cream I think I'll add all the rest of the cream. <laughs> Stir that around. Now my daughter's supposed to be coming today. Uh, usually when she comes, I run out of food. <laughs>
but this is definitely a nice hearty comfort soup here. <laughs> and I'm just going by the feel of it how I like it. That's why I keep mixing and matching, pouring different things in there. Uh, it's going to be good though. Okay, so now we're going to add a little bit of uh, salt and pepper for sure. I'm pretty sure we need that. Well, this is my salt and pepper mix. Add a couple little pepper flakes. This is for my sister-in-law, Cheryl. She likes hot dishes so but so does Penny so do I <laughs> but she always asks me where's the hot stuff <laughs> well there you go mm -hmm. coming together just nice let's see what we got for a taste test mm. oh Definitely use a little bit more salt. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of celery root here to give it a little bit more authentic flavor. Just put a little dash of that in. You don't have to, but because this stuff, that that celery root goes up. It's got a pretty, pretty potent. So and then I'm going to put a tad bit of white pepper in here again to give us a little bit of a bite and <coughs> whoa, I can smell something <coughs> excuse me so <coughs> here we go let's see it's not uh, not too thick not too thin I think it's just about right mm. Mm -hmm. I think the consistency is perfect. Like I said, this is a soup, not a... See, all the ingredients that go in a pot pie are right here. You don't want too thick of a soup. But like I said, if you do... Huh? You can mix a little bit of a cornstarch slurry. Get one more little taste of this. I'm trying to get it up to temp, so. Uh, hmm. I think it tastes damn good so far. Okay, as you can see, I added a little bit of parsley on top of there. <laughs> a dried parsley, about not even a quarter of a teaspoon, I guess. Just a, that I think it's perfect right now. The taste, the smell, the aroma in here is whew, outstanding, huh? Okay. So what I'm going to do is turn the heat down here. Okay. 
And then uh, we're going to get us a little bowl. We're going to dish it up and we'll uh, show you what we got and see at the taste test table. Okay, so uh, I'm going to ladle this up a little bit here. Bring it over here to show you what we got. And a little bit of garnish of uh, my favorite and yours. A little bit of green onion. And we'll see a taste test table. Huh? Okay, I hope everybody can see me. I know you guys can see them boxes on the couch back there. But that's trying to keep that mutt off of the furniture. But anyhow. Like I said, this is a uh, <coughs> chicken pot pie soup. Let's go. We're going in for the first bite. Mm. My potatoes are a little bit, they could have been uh, cooked a little bit more. I had to get almost a spoon out of there. But outside of that, let me try a different potato, huh? Like that one. Mm -hmm. That one was much better, but it does truly taste just like uh, <clears throat> the contents of a chicken pot pie. I think the consistency it's pretty close to some of the ones you buy them frozen ones. Some of those are pretty watery. This is not all that watery though. I'm gonna get a piece of chicken here. Mm. Got some mushroom. Mm. <laughs> now that. My friends taste just like grandma used to make them. Well, I'm probably going to be making a few more um, soup recipes here for the cold weather's coming. And I've got, I don't know, five or six recipes written down already. So, hope you don't get too bored with it. Plus, we got a special thing going on. We'll be doing a, uh, a pizza taste test thing coming up shortly. We're going to rate it. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I got coming up that I, I'm, I for one can't wait. I've been taste testing it. Uh, I made my own uh, sauerkraut out of cabbage. And uh, I got the video half partly done or halfway done. And I got it sitting over there in a the crock, and it's been about three weeks. So, And I've been taking some out a little here, a little there, taste testing it. Uh, and it's delicious. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna jar that up, show you guys, and we'll have a taste test. Um, I love it. It's supposed to be really healthy for you, probiotics and all that stuff. But anyway, it's so simple to make, and it, if, once you taste it, like I have already, uh, I'm gonna do a taste test between. I got a jar of uh, German style uh, sauerkraut, and then what I have in my crock over there. So outside of that, don't want to give too much away, so well, we'll have something to watch together, huh? <clears throat> so anyway, if you like the video we did today, give us a thumbs up, share with your friends, enemies, who's ever hungry, show it to them. Maybe they might like it, I don't know. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. And when you do, notification bell pop down. You hit that, that'll notify you each and every time we come up with another video. Now I know one person said, that they sent me a thing and said, oh, I, I, I think I unsubscribed. How do I resubscribe? It's very simple. Just hit the button again. But if you're already subscribed, just leave it. You don't have to worry about unsubscribing, resubscribing. You hit it once, it says subscribe, you're done. <laughs> okay, so after that, there's a little arrow down under the video box there. You hit that, that'll give you a drop down box. It'll give you a link to my Cook Home Mr. Dan Facebook page, a link to my daughter's artwork site page, and a complete recipe to include the ingredients and how we cook this, how we put it all together just for you. So, my friends, this is Mr. Dan saying stay hungry, and when you are, come back. We'll give you another delicious dish just like this.
Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Keep out of the COVID crosshairs.